In Minecraft, we have a chest, a double chest, a minecart chest, a traps chest, and an ender chest. At one point, you could even make a triple chest. But what about a locked chest? Yep, at one time, locked chests were actually a thing. And today, I'm gonna tell you literally everything about them. April 1st, 2011 was approaching, and at the time, Notch, the main game developer, was planning to release Minecraft Beta 1.4, which added cookies, wolves, a new Minecraft logo, and locked chests. So basically, these chests were intended to be an April Fool's joke. Actually, the first ever Minecraft April Fool's joke, as Notch didn't really have time to announce Minecraft 4D in 2010 because he was in the middle of a move. So upon loading a new world in this version on April 1st, 2011, and yes, your PC's time has to be on that exact date, these so-called locked chests would spawn in the world, but you would usually have to walk around a while to find one. They were also indestructible, except for explosions, which is how someone could actually obtain one. You could even combine them together to make a double locked chest, and they even lit up at night. Upon right-clicking one of these chests, a pop-up would appear. Steve Co. Supply Crate. You need a Steve Co. Supply Crate key to open this. You can pick one up at the Minecraft store. Wow, so I guess pay-to-win servers weren't the first to come up with crate keys. It was Notch. Anyways, if you clicked Go to Store, it would load this web page. Welcome to the Minecraft Store. Here you could buy crate keys, a name change, which actually ended up becoming a free feature in 2015, a creeper saddle, a secret griefer identity, which I guess you could just use alts for that, an enlargement pill, a response from support, and some placeholder items. Now obviously this shop was a joke, as if you tried to actually buy stuff, you would just get a velociraptor jump scare. But if your cart amount went over 10,000, you'd be prompted with this message that says if you're prone to seizures, press cancel. I guess this also serves as a warning to you guys watching this. But if you clicked OK, the whole page would go berserk. This April Fool's Day joke was filled with references from Team Fortress 2, like their Manco supply crates, and Jurassic Park. Now Valve, who owns Team Fortress 2, didn't really like Notch's joke, and apparently spoke their minds about that to him. So a day later, Notch posted on his blog giving the advice to not joke about Valve. Also that day, the site got a multicolored banner that said April Fools. Then a few days later on April 5th, a small patch to Beta 1.4 was released that disabled any locked chests still in the world from being used and would eventually decay like leaves. Now, if you think that this is the end of locked chests, well, you're wrong. You see, even though they all disappeared from world chunks upon loading them, the remnants of the locked chest remained in the game long afterwards. So if you happen to obtain one of these chests as an item by exploding it with something like TNT, it wouldn't be subject to removal. Even when you updated the game, you'd still be able to keep it as long as you just didn't place it. You fu- It wasn't until release 1.3, or just over a year since locked chests were added, that the texture of the locked chest changed to this. Now why, you may ask, does it look like an emerald block combined with the Minecraft version of Grimace? Well, it has to do with this file in the game called terrain.png. At the time, all the block textures in the game were actually stored together in a single image file, which allowed up to 256 different block textures. The issue with this is as the game started to add more features, the terrain.png file started to fill up, and old unused textures had to be cleaned up and eventually replaced which is exactly what happened to the locked chest, as Minecraft release 1.3 added emeralds. So the developers decided to use that slot in the file for the new emerald block texture, thus making the locked chest, already an almost completely forgotten April Fool's feature, looking like this. Eventually, March 13th, 2013 rolled around with the Minecraft 1.5 patch, and the terrain.png file was getting so crammed that the decision was finally made to load each block texture from an individual file. This resulted in the locked chest texture changing to the standard missing texture, as there was no reason to make one for that block. Then release 1.6 came, which changed the missing texture texture, which resulted in this. At this point, it was pretty apparent that the days were numbered for the locked chest. 
In a development version of Release 1.7, locked chests were first made impossible to hold as an item, and can only be placed with slash set block. One pretty interesting fact about this update is that their alphanumeric ID was also replaced with this, making it the longest block ID in the history of the game. Finally, when stained glass was added, it happened to use the same numeric block ID as the locked chest, which effectively marked the official removal of the item. This means that, theoretically, if you updated from a beta 1.4 world that contained locked chests to release 1.7, all those chests would turn into white stained glass. Pretty cool. So that's the history of the locked chest April Fool's joke. It lasted way longer in the game than it was supposed to, but that's good for us because it makes an interesting video. Alright, happy April Fool's Day everyone, I'll see you later.